God is still crying out, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, I'll hear from heaven and I'll heal the land. If my people, God is talking to the body of believers, if my people, all these people going around hollering they God's people, but they haven't turned from their wicked ways. They haven't repented and, and changed their mind and still walking in the way of the enemy, still walking in the way of Baal, still sinning, still sinning and said, God know me. He know my heart. Yeah, he know that it's wicked above all. Glory to God. He He knows my heart. He knows that you indulge in sin and you love it and you ain't trying to come out of it right now. You just, uh, he ain't through with me yet. Hmm. He ain't through with me yet. That's what a lot of people that know better say. People that really know the way and just ain't going to walk in it. Why? Because you're enjoying the things of this world. You're enjoying, enjoying the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. And you're refusing to walk in the word of God. And some people are trying to wait till it's almost time for them to die. And then they want to repent on a deathbed. You know, we be doing a whole lot of stuff. And, and a lot of us as as saints be doing the most. And 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 the Lord told us don't use uh grace as an occasion to sin. And see, that's one thing that I'm seeing. Many people use the mercies and the grace of God as an occasion to sin. Well, God understands, He's gonna give me time. He gonna give me time, but do you know when your time gonna run out? Do you do you know how long it gonna be that God gonna be merciful? Even though He wakes us up every day, He says mercies is new every morning. But what if you don't wake up that morning? You didn't get chance to repent. What do you think you gonna lift your eyes up to? Y'all, we got to be ready. We can't be getting ready. Oh, I'm getting ready. They're like you supposed to be somewhere now. And you you getting ready. You supposed to be in there at 10 o'clock and somebody called you, it's 11 o'clock and you tell them, I'm, I'm, I'm around the corner. You you ain't supposed to be around the corner. You supposed to be there on, on point, on time. And see, one thing that I do know about God, he's an on time God. You know, he, he, ain't, he ain't on our time. He, he on his time. And God don't have no time. God can come when he get ready. He's an on time God and he is going to do what his word says he's going to do. He said, I'm coming back and I'm coming back after a church or uh, talking. He's talking about the building. He's talking about a body of believers that's unified, that, that's clean, got a pure heart, pure mind, keeping themselves unspotted from the world. We're, we're not keeping, a lot of us are not keeping ourselves unspotted from the world. We're doing in and everything. Most of us are going in our own way. And I and how do I say that? Because the Bible says the road to eternal light is narrow. And he said a few go in that way, but he said the broad way, the, the road to eternal damnation or to hell is broad. It's, it's a broad way. And he said many people go in there. Many people love to be on Broadway. They want to be where the lights are. They want to be where the people are. They want to be where they're partying. At. They want them, and they call that fun. That's dangerous. That's not no fun. That's dangerous. I remember years ago, long, 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 long time ago, when I used to try myself going to run to the club. Went to the club one night. They was up in there shooting. And we had to use the bathroom. The club was too crowded. So we, we went up to a church. One one of the girls knew this church. Matter of fact, she was a member of that church. And we went up there going 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 to do number one. We going to pee pee. Anyway, Lord forgive me. But anyway, we went to squat and here come a man with a shotgun. And he was going, you talking about some folks. It was four of us. It was four girls. Man, we jumped in that vehicle. And and the girl that was driving, she was laying down driving. We got out up on the deck and we were hollering. Because I kept telling them, I, and see, that time I wasn't saved and we we was drinking. We had uh, had something to drink, had our little bottles or drinking stuff, and we was high. And they thought I was telling the story, but when the man cocked that gun, you talking about some folks running. See, and and that 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 delivered me. 
right there. I never did go to the club no more. That that delivered me from the clubs. Glory to God. So I was in two places. We were shooting at the club. Then the man was finna kill us while we went to take a leap up there behind the church. He said he said we were stuck trying to steal some farm equipment, but that's another story. But anywho, you know, we have to be careful where we're where we're at, where we're taking our feet and our body and what we're saying out of our mouth, what we're allowing to come in our ear, what we're listening to. You a lot of times we like to get with these people that's telling you anything. You know, when people build you up, it should be built up on the word, but we let people build us up with with fables, with lies. With a whole bunch of lies and stuff. And we be eating it all up. When somebody come to us with truth, we don't want to hear the truth. Our ears ain't tuned to the truth. Why? Because we're not tuned in to God. We're not tuned in to truth. The word, he said, my word is truth. That's how you got, you got to get in the word. Because that word will uh, heal us. That word will uh, deliver us. That word will cleanse us. He said, now you are clean through the words I have spoken. The word will clean us. The things that we need, it's in the Word. We looking in the in the world for a whole lot of this stuff, and it's not found in the world. The W O R L D. It's found in the W O R D. It's found in the Word of God. We need to get in the Word. A lot of people, Satan got us so deceived. We don't even believe the Word. All oh, or uh, some some man wrote that Bible. Yeah, they were inspired by God and God breathed upon them. Just like we got the Holy Ghost now and the Holy Ghost worked through us and the Holy Ghost breathed upon us and we get a refreshing and stuff. God breathed upon those men when they wrote the scripture. Glory to God. So it was written with God overseeing it. Come on, y'all. Come on. Why we got to keep on being ignorant? Glory to God. The Bible talks about people in the long ago. They ignored God's word, ignorant of the word. But he said, we in a time now, he command everybody to repent. He said it was one time he overlooked all this ignorance. He, he overlooked it. But now he command us to repent. He's calling us to repentance, to come out of that dead work, to come out of that lying way. Some people got a lying mouth and they say it's okay to tell a little white lie. I don't care whether they lie, white, black, orange, green, yellow, whatever, whatever the colors are. If you don't tell the truth, you in trouble with God. You got a lying mouth. You need to ask for deliverance. You need to go somewhere and let them dip you in a whole whole bucket, not no bucket, a whole barrel of, of oil. That lying spirit, God said a liar ain't going to even tarry in his sight. So don't even think you're going somewhere, going to heaven or something, and you're going to get up there and start telling God all them kind of lies. Well, what had happened was well, he ain't finna hear that. What had happened was well, that's played out in heaven. It, God don't even want to hear it. He said they they will not tarry in his sight. What do that mean? That means, because the Bible, think about this scripture in Revelation, talk about who all going to wind up in hell. And one of them things that all liars going to end up in the lake of fire. That's what hell is, that lake of fire. That's going to burn forever and ever and ever with fire and brimstone. Glory to God. But we, we need to get it together, y'all. Everybody talking about they love the Lord. Not everybody, but a lot of people saying that they love the Lord. They don't know nothing about him. And then he said, how you can say you love me and you don't love the people that you see every day? We hate so many people. I can't stand these guts. We, we hate so many people. We hate people we don't even know nothing about. I just hate them. I just hate them. And then you can you turn around with that same mouth and say, I love God. You're a liar. And the truth ain't in you. This is the kind of stuff God wants to deliver us from. These little bitty foxes, these are little things that's going to cause us to lose our soul and wind up in hell. Wind up in that eternal fire that can't nobody put out. They talk about that fire where the canker worm can't even die in it. He's constantly being consumed by that fire. And it's going to be heated up real hot. So, you know, if God don't be in us and helping us, we need to get God. We need to really humble ourselves and come to the place where you say, Lord, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't did this and I don't did. Just confess before him. Confess your faults to him. Glory to God. God, I am a sinner. I fall short 
of the glory. I don't do what you tell me. I don't read the word. I don't even know what the word say. You know, I cuss my mom and dad out. I beat up my sister and my brothers. Man, I, I kick the dog. I did you do a whole lot of stuff, whatever the situation is. I steal from my job. I've been whoremongling. I've been sleeping with this one and that one and that one. I done committed adultery on my husband, on my wife, whatever the situation is. I'm living a lifestyle that you called us not to do. I'm living in sin, God, and I need you. I need you to come into my heart. Come in today. Come in and change me. Have your way in me. And when I prayed that kind of prayer, God came in and moved in my life. My life has never been the same again. He started that day working in my heart. That day I became conscious of what I was thinking and what I was doing and where I was carrying my body to. That day he started, started working on my heart. With the heart, man believe unto righteousness. Man believe unto righteousness. Righteousness is dealing with God. Man believe unto righteousness. Righteousness is dealing with the truth of the word. Man believe unto righteousness, but with that mouth, you got to open your mouth and confess that Jesus is Lord. You got to confess that he is Lord over your life. And then he'll come in and he'll fellowship with you. And you fellowship with him. And we'll become one. And you are part of the kingdom. Then he'll fill you with the Holy Spirit if you want it. He ain't going to force himself on you. God is a gentleman. He's not going to force. God is a spirit. But he's a gentle spirit. But he's also a God of wrath and a God of anger. And, a, and he's a God that will put you in your place. He puts us in our place. Glory to God. He don't play with us like, like, like people play with us. He ain't our little friend like that. Jesus is a friend of mine, but God is not. He's our father, and we have to reverence him and respect him and love him. Glory to God. So we got to get God in our life. It's time out for all this foolishness, all this foolishness that we be doing, and this way we acting and stuff. And I know it is hard. People don't want to repent. Everybody think they good, and they think I'm okay because I'm under grace. Even under grace, you got a way that you got to live. And again, I'll say it again. There's a way that seemed right unto men, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. You you, you just assume because you're under grace, you can live any kind of way. The scripture said, God forbid. How how you think that you can live any kind of way because you're under grace? You, you got a God to glorify. You got to live the word. You got to walk in the word. He said, walk in the spirit. What is walking in the spirit? Walking in the word. Living the word. That's what walking in the spirit is. Glory to God. We, we For too long, we walked in the carnal thinking. Just a normal, natural, everyday man thinking. We got to get in the spirit so we can see the things of God. Amen. 